guys and welcome my name is michelle and this is yes your june's uh prediction so we're gonna be starting with uh air signs and water signs and then you guys know the drill then it's gonna be my last two other groups so yeah this is going to be june's prediction so i want to remind you guys that my readings have no date they are divinely guided everything has free well not everything's going to resonate with everybody and please keep in mind the rules to be reversed in between energies i want to remind you guys as i will say i run all day so just know that this is entirely general feel free to take or leave whatever you want and with this said let's move forward i want to give you a friendly reminder that i also am on spotify i do daily podcasts so if you want to check it out i have my link on my comments and on my description box below i would highly appreciate if you can follow me on spotify and i'm trying to get to 200 there so you don't mind helping me out if though so, it's totally fine but yes with that said let's move forward let's see with my air signs let's see what they can expect now in june <clears throat> let's see Okay, so it's talking about financial security, okay? I'm going to specify and, you know, give you the dates in a sec. So, okay, so if you have, of course, a Gemini, Libra's Aquarius energies, you want to list this up, listen up. We got a lot of fire. This is, you know, like Leo Sagittarius area. So it's talking about creativity. So you guys have been working a lot, a lot, a lot, right? And I feel like... You, got, you have been working and you feel like maybe things are not moving as fast as you wanted or you feel unlucky. Sometimes you could feel like, oh my God, I'm going to give up because nothing nothing is working. So I just I do see that struggling with your financial, with your career, with your money, you want to name it in any way to perform, it's going to be over. You're actually heading towards financial security. Now, I do feel as well that fake people, people who are no longer worthy of your time are going to be moved away from your path i do see that you're gonna see things moving towards you faster i do see like important and good improvements when it comes to movement if you were feeling stuck or you felt like something was stuck in your life it's coming i also see that if you were hoping or waiting for some sort of response this could be love related this could be anything related to be honest um you're going to be receiving some sort of communication from something that you have been waiting for this could be a someone or something such as interview confirmation an apartment a car loan whatever it is that you were hoping for it's going to come in june now as i said before you're going to see movement and rapid movement when it comes to your career you are heading towards stability towards financial stability and perhaps to wealthy energies you know like if you were you know having issues having some sort of money like i said before making savings or having savings that's gonna change in june now with chariot right here and the king of wands and the reverse right here now talking about advancements or any advance when it comes to a specific someone now even though that some of you are gonna have some sort of communication coming from a specific source right the intentions and their actions are gonna be a little bit delayed because the person that i'm talking about does not feel confident enough to come towards you or to make those desires a reality it has nothing to do with you it has everything to do with them not feeling confident or good enough for you but i do feel right here that at the same time libra gemini aquarius you're not going to be waiting on nobody i do feel like i said before june is going to be focused in your growth and your creativity and also in your personal projects i also see right here that some of you are heading towards a more healthy lifestyle this could be working out eating healthy whatever it is that you're wanting to do you're going to achieve some of you are actually going to um regulate some sort of issues with your health it's going to get better as well as focus in your financial situation and career this month is the month for you you're gonna actually receive a lot of revenue this could be a raise this could also be just selling a lot if you have your own business but either way june seems to be a good month for your money now with the prince of wands is a representation of from the ashes we rise like i said before libra gemini aquarius you guys have been struggling a lot with your money and having a lot of like challenges and moments that could be quite difficult let me fix this guys because i'm picky as heck but i do see that june is again the month for you to get back up now the beautiful thing is like a lot of people did not believe in you or they were laughing or happy that you were not getting where you needed to they're gonna have to swallow their words uh libra gemini aquarius because this is the month for you anything in love specifically that you can tell me please and thank you 
I think that your vibration is gonna rise and I feel like you're gonna actually get more psychic abilities your intuition is gonna be on point everything you think everything you feel is gonna come to confirmation soon I also see right here that you are waiting or you have this energy like something or someone is coming in June just so you know trust your intuition because it seems right here that an unexpected reunion with somebody from the past is happening with the six of discs right here in the reverse it's also telling you that it's actually not only unexpected but not in the way you guys planned it in a way to perform so keep in mind that this could be a, a small preview of like things are not over in between you two because i feel like the moment that they're gonna come is not gonna be perfect for you or for them so it's just gonna be like a preview that you both are still interested in each other yet it needs a little bit of developing with the world right here in the three of this right here i do see that some of you are gonna be either or famous or recognized all over the globe all your projects even though that they took a bit or they could take a big actually they're actually spreading worldwide so i do feel like you are heading towards bigger and better and the funny thing is like it happens once you thought you were going to be done like you were about to give up and this is exactly the thing about the universe that once you least expected this is when this happens now for those who i was talking about love right let me give you a potential initial who this person may be okay so let me see so this could be the first last medal or even a nickname okay babes okay so we got J as in Jason, I as in Ian, X as, X as like Xavier, A as in Apple, F as in Frank, Q as in Queso, L as in Leo, D as in Diego or Dog, G as in George, U as in Umbrella, B as in Boy, C as in Cat, R as in Rose, and J as in Jason. So those are the possible initials of who this person may be, okay? Now, I do know that I do give a lot, but today we're just going to go with some archangel numbers in message and then the angel okay let's see you got two cards we got one 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 and it says destiny follow what you feel listen as your intuition helps you helps to guide you to what you are manifesting the inner whispers are helping you to create all that it is that you desire listen lean in and follow your soul 555 it says change change happens outside your comfort zone the time for change is now the angels are whispering for you to trust your path and to learn how to walk it take the next step allow change to lift you up and guide you forward okie dokes now we're gonna go with the final part for you my air signs let's gonna go with the angels number okay i mean the angels message for libra gemini Aquarius, mother please okie dokes let me go grab that card real quick and here i am i'm back and we got fresh air and it says your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass trees plants and flowers spend time outside today as near to mother nature's cradle as possible open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well and i'm gonna give you a last one here it says listen listen and it says quiet your mind beloved one and listen to your gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desires manifestation and a quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly this is our request to you listen awesome now we're gonna move with my water signs if you have any cancer scorpio or pisces in your chart this is for you let's see what is your june's prediction for my water signs today let's see let's see right away we got the tower scorpio energies the nine of cups and reverse pisces cancer scorpio five of wands leo sagittarius aries queen of wands a lot of fire here five of cups pisces cancer scorpio and the here font uh taurus energy at the bottom we got the king of wands in that reverse okie dokes so i do see this is a disruptive month or it seems like chaotic energies could surround you this month i do see the tower card not as something super scary but more as like remodeling it's like your life could have been in a position or situation ship that wasn't the best it could have been not the worst but it wasn't the best either so your life is changing and it does feel like 
you could feel under pressure because often like i said before to my air signs change will happen outside your comfort zone and whenever we don't move when we need to the universe will make it happen to us but keep in mind that everything that's happening to you you feel like it's falling apart or you may feel it's falling apart but everything is actually being held together for you the universe has a bigger and actually higher intention that at the end of the day is going to work out for you well, the nine of cups in the reverse and the five of ones some of you could feel a little bit disrupted in how you feel about certain situations others of you could be like confused or this could be also feeling anxious with the five of ones right here i do feel like some of you could feel betrayed or hurt and um some of you are like maybe blaming a specific someone or thinking about a specific someone and a lot of hurt i do feel like some sort of like truth is coming to you or some sort of clarity coming to you about this certain situation or person all i can say be careful because it's like pretty much be careful what you wish for because you're gonna get a very intense answer or clarification of some certain situation or person that could be very hurtful for you okay now, with the Queen of Wands and the Five of Cups right here, somebody is going to be contact you. It seems to be a feminine energy. I do feel like this is connected to this problematic situation. This person right here is going to tell you something that could hurt you, okay? That they could, they could literally hurt you, uh, make you feel bad, okay? But the Five of Cups right here, I do feel like whatever this information gossip whatever you want to call this comes to you you're going to feel disappointed you're going to feel used and you're going to feel betrayed i want you to relay into the universe because the universe has bigger purposes for you i do feel that you are seeking answers or seeking for that partner or that person but i do feel like the people that you have encountered may have not been the one for you with the king of wands in the reverse and the chariot in the reverse which is your energies right here it seems right here that somebody that you want to be connected to this is somebody that you feel like it was a soulmate or a twin flame it's not gonna go anywhere and but and in june it's gonna be super clear to you that you guys are not gonna go anywhere with this person and the reason and the clarity why is gonna be clear as water the fact is like you wanted clarity but the way that you're receiving it or could be receiving it could be quite harsh but at the end of the day you're going to actually reconnect with somebody else i do see that there's somebody that has been in your mind or was in your mind a long time ago okay we got here a air sign libra gemini aquarius somebody that you literally broke your back for or your head for and i do feel that they're coming back in i do see that this could be redemption also an apology or reconnection of some sort with the ace of cups in the reverse right here i do feel like this person is going to tell you something or their purpose is to clarify something because they feel like you put your heart out there for them and they never actually tell you yes or no so i feel clarity is coming and i feel like you're gonna see in a bigger place and in a better place where you're standing with this person with the eight of this right here this is the month of self-work i do feel like you gotta work a lot on yourself self-love self-confidence i do feel that like this is the month for you to put a lot of effort within yourself i also see that some of you are working very hard for a job or in your job and i feel like you're going to get what you need to now with the magician of reverse right here you are expecting either or a change in your job or career as well as a as a raise or a promotion it seems it's going to take a little bit longer than what you expected and if you were expecting some sort of answer on june you may not get it now with the four of cups right here keep in mind and this is talking about your career that the universe exact knows exactly what you want but they're waiting for you to be ready others of you is keep an eye and how you act and how you behave at work because you have somebody that has their eye on you because they see potential because they really want to give you an opportunity but you need to act up right so the month of june if you work anywhere you know that besides yourself right and if you want a promotion or so please make sure to try to not call in try to make sure to be on time try to do your best because june somebody is watching you to see if you're actually fit for whatever position they're about to offer you finally with the six of wands in the reverse right here keep in mind that they're not gonna tell you they're not gonna tell you much this month they're just gonna be observating you or observing you i should say sorry about that tempest right here keep in mind that the universe has everything in their hand and with patience everything is going to be achievable now with herman right here and the tool disc if you are connected with an earth sign this person is gonna cut 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 
contact with you okay and i do see that it's time for you to take the energy of the divine masculine and take charge of your heart and walk away because i do feel like again there's a lot of things happening for some of you pisces cancer scorpio and when it comes to this june is going to be quite challenging yet if you actually remain positive at the end of the day you're going to achieve more than what you were asking okay now i'm going to give you some possible initials of whoever these people that i was talking about could be okay now this could be their first last medal or even a nickname if you don't know what i'm talking about then let it go because this is not a personal but a collective okay and we cannot always tap into everybody's energy So we got Jason, Jason, Diaz and Diego, Jason, and George, S and Sam, Ellis and Leo, Emma and Miguel or Michelle, ES and Edwin, Q S and Kesso, NS and Nina, K S and KFC, U S and Umbrella, and J S and Jason. So these are the possible initials of the people I was mentioning. Now I'm gonna give you an archangel number with an archangel message. And to finalize, I'm going to give you a card, angel's card as well. Okie dokes. We got 999 and it says release and it says endings are new beginnings in disguise. An ending symbolizes the closure of one door and the opening of another. This whisper is reminding you to release and allow it is in the release when the magic happens. And at the bottom, I saw reflection 666 six, six. It could be the, the same. When you allow time for reflection, you allow yourself to see where inner shifts are needed. It is time for you to look at your beliefs and ask, is this serving me or is it time for me to release this? Reflect, refocus, and readjust. Finally, I'm going to give you our angel card with the message. Let's see what is the angel's message for you. We're going to go with this one, family. Then we're going to go with that one. This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. Entrepreneur. Self-employment suits you suits your disposition and intentions working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance we are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways they told me to give you this one assertiveness okay so this situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested yet there's also a need for you there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved we will stand right behind you as you speak your truth giving your strength and guiding you and, gui and guiding your words so this is officially the end of the june's prediction for my air and water signs i want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe make sure to visit and check out my spotify in the description box below or in my comment there's the link i'm trying to get to 200 over there please help me out i post daily podcast now i also want to remind you that if you want to get a personal reading with me please i'm open please visit my website in the description box below you're going to find the link for that as well as if it's easier you can find my instagram and you can also book there on the book now button on my bio now if you want to follow me on ig and or or tiktok please visit again the description box below you're going to find the links for that and it will take you directly to my official sites Finally, I have an upcoming project that I've been working for a minute and where it's going to be on Patreon. I'm going to be offering tarot reading classes as well as classes for those who know tarot but want to grow their business as well. Finally, I want to remind you guys that I do not offer any free readings outside the giveaways and I never message anybody for any tarot inquiry because the only way you can book with me is through the website I provide here, which is online, of course. So with that said, guys, thank you so very much for the love and support. You guys have an amazing day and see you guys soon.